All right, so I'm going to try to capture an NOAA satellite that's about to go over. And I'm going to try to do it over RTL TCP, but over Wi Fi. And I'm going to use a use router because they usually have USB on them now. You can get them for $20. And uh, if they support OpenWRT, it can run RTL TCP. And you can usually get the required speeds. So right now I'm using 5 gigahertz and I can get it up to oh shoot over 60 which means I should be able to do a 2.4 mega whatever sampling rate over the Wi-Fi and I use it uh, because it's just a used router that I got at a thrift store. You get it on Craigslist or get it on eBay. Um, you can get high press high processor ones too. The one I'm using is one gigahertz processor. You can uh, <clears throat> uh, use all kinds of combinations. I'm using five gigahertz, and I'm using unencrypted, and it's also a hidden network too because I didn't want the beacons jamming the network. So it's pretty easy setup. OpenWRT has a lot of good documentation, so I'll run it. So not only am I getting these speeds, I've also got an SSH connection to this router. And I'll show you where it is in a second. And I don't think this satellite capture is going to be good, but I'll show you why not. Why, but hold on. All i got to do is just run this RTL TCP command. And yeah, it's, the default is like 2.04. Um, uh, for the bandwidth sampling or whatever, but I raised it up to 2.4 because I'll show you in a, another second that it's the right speed. It's in the book. And then here we go. Oh, I got to pipe it into the weather software. And I just use what everybody else uses, that WX to IMG, which is free. It should start recording here in about 60 seconds. And so I don't think the reception is going to be that good. Because the satellite I'm tracking, I use heaven above, heavens above. And it's way off to the west. I think it's highest altitude was like 32 degrees. So it's not going to be very good. And when you see where my antenna is, this is going to be the kicker. Uh, this is the probably the easiest way. So I'm just sitting on the, th uh, you know, like third story of my house, tucked away. The only thing this uh, laptop is connected to is another, um, just over Ethernet, to another router, another used router. They're so cheap. I bought. I have like 20 of them. And hopefully it comes in. This is only my second time trying this. I've used this method for other stuff, like to monitor the trains and the planes, but uh, the satellite. So it shouldn't show up for another minute. Oh yeah, I want to be on wide FM when you do it. I'll play a little bit of music while we wait. And yeah, like I said, the whole uh, open WRT on a router is pretty easy. Figuring out the right router, I've been able to run it on routers with uh, 600 megahertz processors, which will get this uh, LL error here. It's a buffering error, and you have to really fidget with it. It's just a low processor router. And I've heard about people getting this running on. Uh, Raspberry Pi Zeros, but then you gotta have a good Wi Fi chip to put onto the Raspberry Pi Zero. So. <clears throat> and yeah, as you can see in the configuration, the sample rate up to 2.4. And you can go all the way up to the speeds I was able to get. You can go up to the max sampling rate according to the book. 
because in the book you say most of your meat is 51.2 according to the book. <laughs> Go on. So it should be just starting to come up over the horizon. <laughs> if it captures any image at all, it'll be maybe like one third of it, maybe. I'm just proving this works. Because once you see my antenna set up, you'll know that um, I could get better reception. <laughs> what I'm saying is my antenna is not on the roof. <laughs> show up within the next it's 4 43 p.m. right now at 4 46 between 4 46 and 4 48 so within the next two minutes it should be close <laughs> this is recording static <laughs> The game, the newbie error. <laughs> oh, jeez, my bad. I just gotta be careful with this game. And I see a little bit more interference on this. Than if I was right there at the antenna. One thirty seven point one. Come on. Yeah, if you would do these satellite things, it'd take forever. the signal should look like. I'm going to kind of call mulligan on this because it's passing so low to the west. And when you see where my antenna is, you'll say, oh, that's a, yeah, that's a real dodgy spot. But if I took this antenna and I went out to a soccer field or something, or the park, uh, I'd get awesome reception. And I had before if I was, when it passes over, I just did this example quick on the fly. I go up so Actually, turn the bandwidth down because normally you have to turn the bandwidth up <sighs> as it goes over. You have to constantly monitor this and adjust, tune it because the Doppler effect. See if we were getting anything. Nothing. <laughs> but if this was a legitimate. Uh, satellite pass I'll stop it here in a second
I think people are, if you're this far into the video, are kind of less interested. I don't know, some people are more interested in the satellite, the weather satellite. And some people are more interested in the R my Wi-Fi, my RT, RTL TCP Wi-Fi connection. But I should be able to show you here in a second that uh, yeah, I could just, the, the basic go-to to show that something's working is usually pagers. But this I can just stop this. I can show you pictures of stuff I've gotten before. These are all. This is all stuff I've gotten before with the, the antenna I have. So I'm not going to dog the antenna because the antenna is awesome. <clears throat> I copied LNA for all Adam's design. The past list. So the one I was just trying to grab was right here. And nah, the, the highest one was 38. So if I waited, that 42 might be decent. But like this one that goes to 90. And last for almost 12 minutes. Oh, you'll get a beautiful picture. <laughs> but yeah, this is just an example of pictures I've gotten before with. Okay, I'm going to show you my antenna. I guess I use LNA for all Adam's design. And there's the antenna. Uh -huh. I just use uh, <clears throat> four gauge copper wire. And then I use the, the six gauge uh, lugs. And these are expensive. These are like $5 for a set of two at Lowe's or Home Depot. And the copper wire is really cheap. It's only like a dollar a foot. And they have a spool of it. And you just go find the section and you ask the person and they'll cut out lengths for you. And I just say, hey, I need um, two two foot lengths. And just cut them with wire cutters. And they super glued them into the lugs. It's too lazy to solder it. And then there's the little coax. And there's my RTL. Um, and then there's my, uh, I use an active USB cable and then there's the used router that I use. So there's the antenna and there's my cable. Yeah, that router was like 15 bucks at some thrift store. It's got a one gigahertz processor on it and all these ports are Ethernet. So yeah, I think that's a little bit better than a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> you power with a car battery, solar panel. <laughs> so yeah, this antenna is cool. I've been out here just sitting with my laptop and just plug, I'll just grab this antenna. It's sitting on my table. I just throw it up and then I'll just be sitting out there and I'll download a satellite image. And like I said, this antenna design, um, LNA for all atoms, it's, it works because of the pictures I just showed you. I've used that antenna to get these on my back porch. Then the other thing too is going back to those pictures. This is facing south, and it's all just suburbs and malls back there and radio towers. So I have all that interference there. And then to the north, I'm in a three story house. So, like, I took this picture from the third story. So like there's a whole third story that's blocking the north side of this and a bunch of trees. So yeah, no wires, Ma. <laughs> and then from here, yeah, it's all wireless all the way up to what you're seeing right here. Just this Ethernet cable. And I have two of those. So that router's connected to the other one. Pretty simple. I show you, it should work on pagers. And then I'll wrap it up. Uh, pagers are at like 9.30. switch back to speakers it's usually even with us just with a paper clip you can pick up pagers So, I can pick up a pager. <clears throat> That's working fine over RTL TCP. And using an antenna that was built for satellites. 
but just to show that oh, I should leave this running turn the volume down just to show you because I think a lot of people always say so this is that router on my porch that's running RTL TCP I think a lot of people always say oh the processor can't handle it so now there's going to be two SSH connections into that porch router I just run HTOP and right now it's only running at uh, what looks like not even the whole process are just like around 25% so easy schmeasy <clears throat> yeah open WRT their documentation there's a lot of it so you gotta kind of dig through it to find simple solutions but I can have to make another video too and hopefully not shorter than 15 minutes um, but yeah thanks for watching